How's it going everyone? Ben here, your friendly neighborhood transgender medical student. And today I really want to reflect on the idea of it gets better. When we were younger, when we were in high school, especially as a young millennial Gen Z cusp queer out there growing up, the It Gets Better project was huge. It helped people like me, queer kids that were super depressed in high school, look towards the future on maybe a better life for us when we're adults. If you don't know what the It Gets Better project is, it was a campaign in the early 2010s that was created by Dan Savage in a response to the large amount of news stories coming out about queer and gay kids being bullied to the point of suicide. It was a really depressing time for younger queer kids because so many of that was in the news. So the It Gets Better project was a series of videos created by a bunch of famous queer celebrities who talk about how life is much better when you are older. Life is much better when you're an adult and you have the autonomy to come out and the autonomy to live life as your true self. And for me, that was a huge deal. I was a young, closeted, queer, Muslim, brown kid trying to figure out what I wanted to do in my life, thinking that my parents would never accept me, my family would never accept me. I was getting bullied at school, getting thrown into lockers by really awful classmates, being called slurs in high school. And I got to a point where I didn't want to live anymore. And when I saw those videos from the It Gets Better project talking about how great it is to be a queer, openly queer adult, it, it helped me get through those years in high school where I was really sad. But now that I'm an adult and I've experienced life as an adult, I have a whole new understanding of what it means to, to go by the term, it gets better. Because when I was a young kid, I thought as soon as I'm, a, uh, as soon as I'm an adult and I have a job and I can make my own life decisions, everything will be better. Everything will be great. I will be in a loving relationship. I'll be married. I'll have kids by now. I'm 25. And I had this really fairy tale dream of what it meant to be a trans and queer adult. But now, as I'm a fully autonomous, independent adult with my own apartment complex, I mean, I bought the lighting in this video, I bought the camera in this video, so I am making somewhat of an income to live by myself, to have a cat, to buy things that I like. Life is still hard. Life is actually harder than it was when I was in high school where I didn't have to worry about things like bills, where I didn't have multiple failed relationships, where I didn't have a relationship where I thought I was gonna spend the rest of my life with but it went downhill really quickly. I never thought I would be in my dream career field and still be miserable in that dream career field. I thought as soon as I got to medical school, I, I was gonna make it. I was gonna be super successful, but that's not how it is. I am finally coming to the terms with the fact that I live with a lot of guilt. I am a very vulnerable person. I live with depression, I live with anxiety, I suffer from symptoms of adjustment disorder and acute stress disorder. I've had those things happen in my life and I've come to realize that life is hard regardless of what part of life you're in. Whether you're a kid going through bullying at school or an adult, there will always be trials in your life and there will always be things that are trying to make living hard. But even if living life is hard, things are okay. And I think it has to do a lot with growing up and having the autonomy to do things by yourself without someone else looming over you, making the decisions for you in your life, you're able to make decisions about who you want to be surrounded by. And as I've gotten older, I've realized that you don't need to keep friends that make you miserable. You don't need to be in a relationship where you feel miserable. You don't need to have a fairy, fairy tale happy ending with a person if they're not making you happy. You don't have to push through things that, that makes you uncomfortable. You learn to say no to things. You actually learn to say no to things. You've learned to say, I don't want to do this. I'm going to take a rest day. You learn to navigate difficult conversations with people that you disagree with. And you learn to let people in your life go 
that aren't enriching who you are as a person. I'm only 25, but I've experienced a lot of loss in my life. And I've lost a lot of people to death already. And I've learned through those moments in my life where I've lost people that I've loved on how to appreciate life and how to appreciate the people that are still around and how to honor the people that are gone. And as an adult, you can make your own medical choices about yourself. You can seek therapy. You can see a psychiatrist if you need medications to help you with your mental health. You can do that as an adult. And that's what makes things better. It's not necessarily that life will get easier. It will never get easy. It'll always be hard. There's always something in someone's life that really stresses you out. But you learn to cope with it. You learn to prioritize yourself. That's, that's the message I want people to know now. That yes, does it get better? Yeah, yeah, but it never gets easy. And the way that you can make it better for yourself is to advocate for yourself. I guess I see a lot of my friends who are full grown adults now struggle with this, struggle with the idea of going out of the level of thinking they had when they were in high school where their parents were making their decisions for them and they were surrounded by a bunch of toxic people in their class and in their friend groups. You don't need to have that when you're an adult. You can choose who are your friends. And it is harder to make friends as an adult, but if you have intention behind who you want to surround yourselves with, you can have a very fulfilling life, regardless of all the other stuff that happens that tries to bring you down. I guess I want to end this video with saying that I'm still not in a place in my life where I want to be. There's still a lot of things that I have to deal with in my life that I feel are very hard and out of my control. But as, as I go through these really hard trials in my life right now, I've learned to lean on those that care and I've learned to lean on myself and I've learned to prioritize me. And I hope that everyone who's watching this video knows that to do what makes you comfortable. You don't have to live by something society tells you you have to live by a certain timeline or that your family tells you you have to do this, this, and that. Do what makes you comfortable and live life to the fullest because we only have one life and we don't know when it's our time to go. So I hope you got something out of this video. I hope that you learned something because things will be better overall.